in today's new normal, where modular and online learning are the trends, there are still things that you cannot usually do, like doing research. When you do your research, what sources do you think will help you? If you are thinking of using Google, Yahoo, or other online sources, then you are at the right track. Hi, my dear learners! It is another great learning day! This is Teacher Nell, and I am your English teacher for today. Come on and join me as we discover and experience fun and challenging adventures in your favorite classroom on TV. This is Deped Kalapan City Teleclasse. Confused and sometimes worried in answering your modules? No worries, kids, because today you are going to master the skill of using online sources as references. Let's begin with this warm-up activities to find out what you already know in using online references. So what are you waiting for? Grab your pen and paper ready? Eyes and ear steady. All set? Yes, we are! So this is what you are going to do. Identify the icons of the following online sources. Write your answers in your notebook. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. Well, are your answers like this? Number one, the answer is Yahoo! Number two, the correct answer is Google. Number three, the correct answer is Bing. Number four, YouTube. And number five, the correct answer is Wikipedia. Did you get all the correct answers? Amazing! But if not, don't worry because we are going to learn, learn, and learn. The following are the most common online references. Database, Online Encyclopedia, Online Britannica, Online Maps and Atlas, Wikipedia, Web Pages, Website, Google Search, Yahoo, YouTube. For our lesson which uses online references, I have invited someone who can help us out kids. I would like to introduce you to our online librarian. She is going to share with us some interesting facts and information about different online references you can find on the internet. Kids, here is Miss Rona. Hi Miss Rona, how are you? We know that there are a lot of references we can find from the internet. Can you share with us what you know? Let's start with database, Miss Rana. Hello, Teacher Ned. Hello, kids. Database is a collection of information that is organized so that it can be easily accessed, managed, and updated. Using database, one can quickly and easily find information. New data can be added, edited, or deleted in a database. That's really good to know. Another useful material is the online encyclopedia. Ms. Rona, can you tell us more about the online encyclopedia? How can it help students in their schoolworks? An online encyclopedia, also called a digital encyclopedia, is an encyclopedia accessible through the internet. Users are using encyclopedias to expand their knowledge on topics of concern. Thank you for that comprehensive information about online encyclopedia. But how about online Britannica? Well, Teacher Nell, the Encyclopedia Britannica is a general knowledge English language online encyclopedia. 
developed specifically to provide comprehensive and global coverage of the world around us. This unique product contains thousands of timely, relevant, and essential articles drawn from the Encyclopedia Britannica itself. Kids, don't forget that! Miss Ronaline, how about online maps and atlas? Although the two terms maps and atlas are very similar, there is still difference between them. The key difference between map and atlas is that a map is a representation of an area of land, whereas an atlas is a collection of maps. An atlas can contain different types of maps. Did you get it, kids? There is another interesting online reference Miss Ronalyn will be sharing with us, and that is Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a multilingual online encyclopedia created and maintained as an open collaboration project by a community of volunteer editors using a wiki-based editing system. It is the largest and most popular general reference work on the World Wide Web. Wikipedia is a free, open content online encyclopedia created through the collaborative effort of a community of users known as Wikipedians. But kids, since Wikipedia can be edited, it's important that you further validate the information you might obtain from Wikipedia using other sources. Thank you, Ms. Ronalyn. How about web page and website? A web page is a specific collection of information provided by a website and displayed to a user in a web browser. It can be accessed by entering a URL address into a browser's address bar. A web page may contain text, graphics, and hyperlinks to other web pages and files. It is a document available on World Wide Web. Web pages are stored on web server and can be viewed using a web browser. This can contain huge information including text, graphics, audio, video, and hyperlinks. These hyperlinks are the link to other web pages. It is a document which can be displayed in a web browser such as Firefox, Google Chrome, Opera, Microsoft Internet Explorer or Edge, or Apple Safari. Meanwhile, a website is a collection of web pages and related content that is identified by a common domain name and published on at least one web server. Notable examples are wikipedia.org, google.com, and amazon.com. All publicly accessible websites collectively constitute the World Wide Web. Ms. Ronalyn, can you share with us some information about Google Search? Of course, Teacher Nell. Google Search is a United States-based multinational technology company that specializes in internet-related services and products, which include online advertising technologies, a search engine, cloud computing, software, and hardware. Kids, how often do you use that? Uh-huh. Thank you, Ms. Ronalyn. Let us proceed to another reference. Let's have Yahoo. Yahoo is an American website and is one of the pioneers of the early internet era in the 1990s. It is an internet portal that incorporates a search engine in a directory of worldwide websites organized in a hierarchy of topic categories. Now, we are down to the last reference material, and that is YouTube. Kids, I know for sure you are using this often, so let me define what YouTube is. YouTube is a video sharing service where users can watch, like, share, comment, and upload their own videos. The video service can be accessed on PCs, laptops, tablets, and via mobile phones. Thank you, Ms. Ronalyn, for sharing your knowledge with us on different online reference materials. You are welcome, Teacher Nell. Goodbye, kids! Kids, did you learn from Ms. Ronalyn? Great! What time is it? It's test time! Pen ready? Check! Paper ready? Check! This is what you are going to do. Identify the types of online sources described in each sentence. Write your answers in your notebook. 
Number one, it contains different types of maps. The correct answer is all in maps in Atlas. Number two, it is a collection of information that is organized so that it can be easily accessed, managed, and updated. The correct answer is database. Number three, it is a video sharing service where users can watch, like, share, comment, and upload their own videos. The answer is YouTube. Number four, it is a collection of web pages and related content that is identified by a common domain name and published on at least one web server. The answer is website. And number five, it is a specific collection of information provided by a website and displayed to a user in a web browser. The correct answer is web page. Number six, it uses the information shared by sites and apps to deliver services, maintain and improve them, develop new services, measure the effectiveness of advertising, protect against fraud and abuse, and personalize content and ads you see on Google and on partner sites and apps. The correct answer is Google search. Number seven, it is an internet portal that incorporates a search engine and a directory of worldwide websites organized in a hierarchy of topic categories. The correct answer is Yahoo. Number eight, it is a multilingual online encyclopedia created and maintained as an open collaboration project by a community of volunteer editors using a wiki-based editing system. The answer is Wikipedia. Number nine, it is a general knowledge English language online encyclopedia. The answer is Online Britannica. And number 10, it is also called a digital encyclopedia and an encyclopedia accessible through the internet. Correct answer is online encyclopedia. Wonderful kids, all set for more? Let's go! Kids, let's deepen your understanding on the topic you have just learned and let's see what online resource will you use in the following situations. Number one, your English teacher asks you to spell and define the word awesome. What online reference will you use? The correct answer is Online Britannica. You want to learn more about the Earth and other planets. Which online resource will help you on this? The correct answer is Online Encyclopedia. But kids, answers to these questions are not limited to one resource only. Number three, you want to watch the trending video of your favorite celebrity blogger. What online resource will you utilize? The answer is YouTube. Number four, 
In your Araling Panlipunan class, you are tasked to look for the common natural resources in a region in the Philippines. What online resource will help you in this task? The correct answer is Map and Atlas. Number 5. You want to read news articles on the latest COVID-19 variant. Which online resource is the best to use? The answer is Google Search or Yahoo. Congratulations, kids! High five! To further deepen your understanding on online resources, I am encouraging you to use them in your studies and researches. But most of all, may I remind you kids to be responsible in using them. Always remember, think before you click. This day is full of thinking, doing, and learning right here at Depet Kalapan City Teleclasse. This is Teacher Nell. Saying, in learning English today, your dreams are just a word away. Goodbye, everyone!